Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto sale flyer. I've been kind of letting the flyers go a little bit again. Uh, just, I don't know. I just seem to, seem to think that they're kind of repetitive. And I let a couple go and then do another one, let a couple go, do another one, and stuff changes a little bit more for us, right? So anyways, this is a special one, too, because this is the 90th year of Princess Auto. Look at that, 90th year, right there. So tomorrow they're having a big celebration. Doors open at 7 a.m. Free coffee and donuts until the last crumb. <laughs> Free giveaways while supplies last. I wonder what they'll be giving away. They don't tell you, of course, right? So you gotta show up and get the free stuff. I don't think I'll be going, but anyways. So 90 years, this is pretty cool. Now this is a gigantic flyer, so get comfy. We're gonna be a few minutes with this. This flyer is darn near 100 pages long in the in the catalog uh, that i got in front of me as well. Uh, 95 pages, and then we've got, um, well, the back page too, but anyways. Okay, well, let's get at her. Big, big sale. March 14th to the 26th of 2023. So, first of all, we got a $500 plasma cutter. That looks really close to the hypotherm way cheaper <laughs> let me tell you a little bit different i guess but uh well no it's got the air button back here and the dial here and uh mine has a maybe it's right there mine has another little switch there which switches between um oh there's three settings for that and for the expanded mesh steel and um something else too i can't remember now normally i just leave it on the the main cut but anyways Four ninety nine, not too bad. Well, that's pretty cheap for a pressure washer, but I kind of willing to bet that this engine is probably not too good. But anyways, we won't comment too much on that. But <laughs> for that kind of price, it's probably not a very good thing. The cart's probably about the best thing out of all of this, honestly. And <laughs> maybe the wheels, but anyways, nice little pry bar set, eight eighty eight, not too bad at all. Hey, 10 by 20 foot canopy. 10 foot wide, 20 foot long, but I wish they would say how high it is. Might be 8 feet tall, maybe. Maybe. 250 bucks, so that's that's not bad. doesn't come with sides, though. If it come with sides, boy, that might not have been too bad if, you know, we ever go to any of these tractor shows again to maybe take one of those and set that up. But uh, I've seen a lot of bad problems with uh, canopies like that. Tractor shows, middle of the open, wind. Yeah, <laughs> so probably not. Probably not do that. Oh, look, they got their sawmill here again, too. It's pretty close to... Not really. <laughs> the bunks are about the same on the Woodland Mill one I have here, but this one's... Uh, yeah, it's got quite a few differences. This lift mechanism's totally different. Mine's, like, down lower and... Yeah, a bit different, but anyways, they do have some accessories there for it, which probably would work on mine. I think yeah, it's a 26, so it'd probably use the same blades, but their blades are really expensive here. I was surprised how much they are. I don't know if they'll have them listed here or not, but there's a bead seeder. That's nice. Uh, nice grinder, bench grinder. Ooh, brake cleaner's on sale again. Two ninety nine. Still not as cheap as that one time I was same brand yeah clean flow i think i got it for 288 so that's why i got like three cases of it two or three cases whatever i got that day i'm like oh i'm stocking up on that that's cheap so and it's pretty good stuff okay there's a bit of ads pry bar set and ad gorilla glue 1540 diesel engine oil hmm some spray and stuff great stuff oh this stuff's good this is like the spray foam stuff i'll tell you what don't get that on your hands make sure if you're ever using this stuff you put a pair of gloves on because you'll basically have to wear that off your hands kind of thing you know and it does it won't wash off you're, you get it on you're, you're in trouble <laughs> so yeah solvable acetone lacquer thinner oh boy that's pretty uh not good stuff this lacquer thinner Oof. yeah don't uh, wear gloves too if you ever use this stuff as well let's give you that advice 
Yeah, I learned the hard way that it actually burns your skin. It's so bad. This stuff, like it's it's bad stuff. Not good for you at all. They should actually probably take it off the market, I would think, but they still sell it. So, anyways. Hey, that's kind of cool. Oil dispensing with oil dispenser with digital meter. So I guess this thing here maybe goes into a bucket or a drum or something. And then you reel this out. And then you uh, set how much you want. Probably air operated. Maybe. It probably, well, doesn't really say. It does in gallons, pints, and quarts. Liters, pint, <laughs> liters, gallons, pints, and quarts. There you go. Yeah, it looks like an old air fitting, like right there. Air operated. There you go. Yep. So you fill that up, and then it, I guess it probably puts pressure into the drum or whatever there, and then uh, pushes it out, out here, out this hose, I would guess, or something. Out this hose here, maybe. Is that going down into here? And then, so you probably need about five or six gallons just to fill all the system. Let's see, you want to make sure you get the oil in there that you want to use. You can't have different switching oils around, I wouldn't think, but oil changer, that's kind of cool. Oil operated grease pump, no kidding. Wow, I just still use one of these things, but that would be kind of nice. But ah, where do you get that great big thing of grease? Boy, that would last me a while, wouldn't it? Oh, man, I go through about one of these, just about one of these tubes in this thing on uh, grease in the backhoe arm. A little bit on the loader, but then I run out. And I don't put excessive amounts in. I put it enough on until I see it coming out. See the clean grease coming out? That's what you're supposed to do. So, I mean, it uses up a little bit, but that's what I've always done. And still, still, still works good. Wow, look at all the thread locker stuff they have now, eh? Holy. And epoxies. And gasket maker. How many different kinds do we need? Red, gray, RTV, or blue RTV, <laughs> red RTV, high temp. They got a lot of different stuff now, don't they? Oil resistance. The black stuff, yeah, that's what I use. So it looked like more like this stuff I use, but. It's a pretty good rating on it too, eh? Minus one, minus 54 Celsius. That's pretty darn cold. Oh man, even in the big tubes too. That's kind of neat. Ultra gray, ultra, ultra, ultra. And there's your uh, thread sealant and brake lubricant. Oh wow, they're selling that now. That's good. Coop, co Cooper, copper anti seize. Some clear RTV silicone. Spray on anti seize. Hey, that's neat. And we got some transmission, nope, oh, sorry, uh, motorcycle lift jacks. Well, that's just barely on there, this thing, isn't it? Oof. Some silicone guns. Well, that's a major difference in price. Nine, $5.99 to $25. Wow. Huh. Motorcycle dolly. Well, there's some NOCO stuff. 3,000 watt, 12 volt modified sign, Sydney wave power inverter. I didn't even look at that. <laughs> There's their lifts again. Some jacks, some floor jacks. Well, that's quite the floor he's got that on too. Wow. Huh. Low profile floor jacks. Nice. Uh, gantry crean. Some lift mechanisms, engine stand. 90th, we're celebrating our 90th anniversary. For 90 years, Princess Auto has helped hardworking Canadians to get the job done right. 1933, Princess Auto Wrecking was born in Winnipeg. Harvey Tallman bought the business in 1942 and focused on expanding his unique selection of tools and equipment. Today, our privately owned Canadian company proudly serves you in over 50 stores, not in Orangeville in my town, Princess Auto, I hope you hear this. My town, we're all around us, but not here. Uh, 50 stores coast to coast. I'm a bit bitter about that, yes. 50 stores coast to coast, our national call center and online. We've been around this long thanks to the customers like you. You're the reason we exist. Uh, give me free tools then. <laughs> we look forward to helping you create 
Get the ideas in your head while putting the right tools in your hand. That's nice, eh? 90 years, wow. It's trailer tires, and I still want to get one of these things. You know, I think it'd be handy. Tire changer, but man, I don't change that many tires, really. Tire repair kit. That's actually a really good one. Huh. Very nice. Actually got a lot of... One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty. I guess they count this as thirty, and then thirty-one, thirty-two, three, four, five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So there's thirty tire cords in there. So that's that's good. Some little wheel butter old tires and two a cart tires. Little plastic rims, eh? Pfft. Holy jumping! I guess they don't rust. It's one good thing. Trailer accessory stuff. Trailer balls. Three steeper hitches and jacks of all trades. Oh, they still got this uh, trailer dolly here. Still under 90 bucks, eh? You couldn't buy the two wheels. And uh, probably the ball for that. <laughs> that's that's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. That's for moving around like trailers without actually having to hook it to something. If you can, not a super heavy trailer, right? If it's empty something, something small. A nice uh, fenders for your trailer. And a bunch of zippy ties. Zippies, some wires, some lights, terminals and connectors. Terminal kits, LED marker light sets, rubber grommets, license plate light, suction cups for moving like panes of glass or stuff like that. That'll stick to. Trailer wiring. Some shelving units. Well, that's a nice little, what do they call these things? There was a name for them. I can't remember what the name was now, but some heavy duty work benches. Sixty four drawer part storage cabinet. That's alright. Little mini air compressor, twelve volt. And some mobile work benches and toolbox things. That's all right. Oh, there's a nice chair. $133. I probably have that wrecked in about a month. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. It might be pretty good, but my girth has got to have a good chair. We'll see. <laughs> little shop stool, too. That's all right. A real short uh, shop stool. Some moving blankets. Nice two wheel carts and stuff. That's all right. Oh, they got some of these uh, garage panel lights now too. That's nice too. LED shop lights. Chargeable slim work light. Chain hoist. A little mini parts washer. That's kind of neat. With pump? Well, I hope so. Oh, I wonder if it must be like a tray in there and then the fluid just sits underneath it or something. Oh, geez, I looked at one pair of gloves. I'm like, $33 for a pair of gloves? Holy smokes, but it's 10 pairs. Large leather work gloves. There you go. Wow, stubby. I'll say. Comes with some little things too. This is a pro point too. I've got one of theirs, but it was the first one they kind of come out with. And it's not too bad. It doesn't have a whole pile of torque, but you know, it works pretty good. $80 impact wrench. Wouldn't even bother with that, to be honest. It's nice little air tools here. I've got one of these uh, little die grinders. That's what I use my little burr tool in. Oh man, it's never worked good. It's not quite like this, but little different but same idea oh look at the saving look at a little hammer attachment that's kind of neat for the uh, air chisels a little set of shears never tried an air riveter I think that'd be neat to try one never tried one before 
There's a big one inch stubby air impact wrench. Wow. The heck are these? Rotating parts sta paint stand. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. A little air compressor for probably this little guy. I never tried airbrushing either. Mm. I'm not good at painting, I guess. I don't know. Painting, I could paint a solid something something, but not with detail, <laughs> we'll say. There's a little paint booth too. Nice. Dual tank. Gravity feed abrasive blaster. Wow, they're getting into two tanks now. Why wouldn't you just make one tank just a little bigger? That's what I would have thought. Anyways. Holy smokes, look at the price of this air compressor, and it's on sale. Holy, it's normally $8,000. Delivers 55 CFM at 90 PSI. That's quite a bit of air. But it looks like you got like a big V-twin or something on it, too. Vanguard? Mm. Maybe they're better than they used to be. I'm, I'm, I'm not really a super big Briggs & Stratton fan, to be 100% honest with you. So, mm. Maybe they're better than they used to be, but 55 CFM. Holy. Wow. That's a lot of air. That make air real fast, too. And it's a 55-gallon tank, too, so it's just about the size of this one here. So it's it's bigger than it looks, I think, in this uh, picture. But you'd probably mount that in the back of a truck or something, I would think. But um, I don't know. Maybe for a shop, you wouldn't kind of want the, this in the shop, though. But anyways, wow. Well, there's that one my stepdad got there. It's actually super quiet this way. It says quiet air compressor. Let me tell you, you can stand beside it and have a normal conversation with someone. You're not like yelling at them, right? It's actually pretty good. Some air hoses and reels and stuff. Some fittings. Yeah, quite a few different ones of these now. I think I got one like this. It's not bad. Drywall sander, it's miscellaneous electric tools, angle grinder stand, hmm. 10 inch wood miter, metal sliding miter saw, that's all right. Extensions, power nut driver sets, oh that's one of the right angle ones, that's kind of neat. Some step drills. Great big hole saw kit. Wow, that goes up big, right up to five inch. Wow. Rotary bit set. Brushes. Carbide burr set. There you go. 400 piece drill and power bit set. Forstner bits here. Some regular titanium drills there. Three-piece hinge drill bit set. Hey, that's kind of cool. Huh. Another set of bits there. These flapper discs. Like I said before, these are pretty good. They're really good for sharpening things, too. They don't kind of rip off as much and as fast as, like, an actual grinding disc. You can actually do a little more polishing kind of with them. Some nice water pumps. Two-inch gas water pump. Two inch gas chemical water pump. Ooh, it's plastic, I guess, housing here. Hmm, interesting. Nylon body, there you go. Yeah, doesn't get rotten out by some kind of acid or something that might eat the metal, right? Ooh. Some pumping accessories. 18,000 BTU. Big buddy radiant propane heater. Oh, look, they have a portable water. Water, propane water heater. 41,000 BTU, I guess. Runtime, 20 minutes. Hmm. Overheating protection, regular shower head and more. There you go. That's kind of neat. I wonder what the 20-minute thing is. You think it would just be like an on-demand thing, wouldn't it be? I don't know. Single garden hose shutoff valve. Oh, look at all these little steel garden beds they got now. Wow, that's neat that together I guess fill it full of dirt plant your stuff and away you go kind of thinking of building some of these on my own out of some some timbers we're going to cut on the sawmill this summer here and 
build my own boxes and get rid of the garden thing, I think. Just put these big boxes out somewhere. We keep track of the weeds a little better, I think, that way too. So, Some garden tools and saws and stuff. Sprayers. Look at the size of this. Ooh, wheelbarrow. That's a big one. 100 bucks. That's pretty cheap, actually. Nice little wooden, 1,000-pound wood deck flatbed wagon. That's kind of neat for 120 bucks. Man, each wheel's probably like, if you want to buy the wheels, it'd be probably 25, 30 bucks a piece. So, I mean, there's, say, 100 bucks right there. <laughs> Just in the wheels. Oh, we must be getting into spring soon. We're showing all the detachers and the lawn sweepers and the plug aerators and all that good stuff. There's a little disc harrow. Huh. Pull behind the tractor. Some rollers. Big, big fans. Look at this big, big fan. Wow, we. Holy smokes. Oh, yep. Tillers, rear tines. Wood splitters. Lumber mill, chainsaw, cutting guide. Oh, look at this. They have the uh, two meter track extension kit for the sawmill. Used with 24 or 26 inch portable sawmill. $3.99. I wonder how far apart that is from the Woodland Mills one. I wonder if that would work. I don't know, it's probably the holes wouldn't line up for bolting it together probably and all that stuff. But anyways, there's uh, there's the band mail blades. So five of them are 250 bucks. Only, I think I can buy 10 of them for like 310 from right from Woodland Mills. So like, wow. That's a little bit expensive. Oh, look, they got a log carrier too. That's kind of cool. How you get it up onto this to start with? <laughs> Must be a way to do it. Chainsaw sharpeners. Oh, killer front tine tiller. Killer tiller. They think they'd have all this log stuff together here because there's one of the log cans there. Mower deck spindles. Honda. Look at the price of that. Wow. That's a fairly big one I guess though electric start and stuff but for like a lawn tractor I guess holy three I wish they'd still just go back to the horsepower rating 389 cc yeah that's great that's the size of the engine but like what's the horsepower rating of it it'd be nice to know that too gas power jackhammer and drill A little mini excavator thing, a towable one, I guess. They're still selling those, eh? Forty-two hundred. Ooh, save six hundred bucks. Well, that's kind of cool. Powered wheelbarrow and cement mixer. Ooh, big jackhammer. Sort of looks like the not quite that the one we got for when we did the deck. The compactor. There's your pressure washer cart. Pressure washers, pressure washer pumps. Ooh, they've gone up a lot too. Wowee. Generator, 15,000 watt. Wow, 15 kilowatt generator. That's huge. That's a big one. I don't know if I can zoom in. Any oh, of course, they give me a, the other side, but anyways, that's right. Hyundai, 3,500 uh, gasoline inverter generator. A couple little guys here, handhelds. Dual fuel, right. That's nice. Huh. Some plugged pluggagers. And some cords. That's all right. Hydraulic coolers. Hydraulic. All of a sudden we're into hydraulic stuff. Spool valves. Ratchets. Torque wrenches. Three-eighths, half-inch, quarter-inch. Hey, nice. those are cheap. Wow, they probably are kind of cheap too. Something if you're gonna be, you know, building an engine, you should have probably a little bit better than a thirty-five dollar torque wrench to torque things down. You know, it's kind of maybe it's fine, but it's kind of be nice to actually do some testing. You know, but anyways, you could set the. You need one of those torque thingies that you put in the vise and then you twist on it, and then it tells you how much it's feeling, and then you could set this at like thirty-five foot pounds or whatever, and then you. See if, you know, when that thing clicks, if it's actually clicked off at 35 foot-pounds. I presume they'd have to be calibrated, but who knows? For that price, probably not. 
Ooh, specialty star and bit socket set. This is probably something that they really shouldn't be selling. <laughs> Security bits and stuff, right? Anyways, I know they've been selling that stuff for a long time. But... Socket sets. Socket sets. Socket sets. Ooh, nice. 33-piece bit socket set. They don't really tell you what kinds they all are, but looks like some torques and stuff there. Gear wrench ratcheting combination wrenches. Very nice. I got a set like this kind of, actually. They're still selling that same one. Huh. Nice. Magnetic trays. And a letter, letter stamper set. That's all right. Some more hand tools, sledgehammers, scrapers. Mini short hammers, quick change ratcheting wire crimp, crimper set, crimper kits, construction line. Oh, this is Mega Smasher. It's gonna be all kinds of different stuff in here. Six piece pin and center punch set. Digital caliper. Some uh, pipe cutters there and some pipe wrenches. Pipe cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> pipe wrenches. I had both things on the brain there. I think I've got this set here. and It's not great. It probably will work, but you're going to have to seal up the threads real good when it cuts new threads because it kind of burrs them over a little bit and kind of, yeah, it wasn't not very good cutter teeth in them, I don't think. whole bunch of wheels and casters. They hold quite a bit, eh? 1,200 pounds, so that's pretty good. Oh, there's the uh, carbon my carbon monoxide detector. They're actually selling those now. That's good. Mechanical timer. Another pair of crimping tool. Oh, I thought it was a bolt cutter again. Crimping tool, okay. Some, oh, these would be all the little kits of things here. All those little boxes that I like. The stainless steel cotter pin kit. Hex head cap screw kit. Cap screw kit. Nertile o rings. Metric nertile o rings. Lock nuts. Copper, wa copper washer kits. It's all right. Some more cords. I mean, we already do cords. I thought we already did cords. Ooh, 100 gallon black oval poly stock tank for feeding your stock. And big tote things. Some pins. Galvanized round tub. There you go. Have a bath now. <laughs> Some chicken accessories, it looks like. 100 gallon rectangular transfer tank. That's a big size one. And these things are always expensive too. The pumps, holy man. Barrel pumps, a whole bunch of just new seats. That's a funny looking one. Low back pan seat, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, they got those straps on that I got a while ago to unload the uh, sawmill. When we brought her home. Some more chains and some more straps. Ericsson, $30, 2 inch by 30 feet, 10,000 pounds. That's a good one, but uh, pretty long, too. Like, most of that, I, my stuff, I wouldn't even use that. That's for going over big loads, right? Way up and over. Yeah, straps, that's pretty good. 2 inch by 20 feet, 10,000. It's basically the same thing, only 10 feet shorter and quite a bit cheaper. Wow. Yeah. Little ratchet straps, tonneau cover box, little job site box, underbody truck box. Who those don't last long here <laughs> with our salt and crap on the road. Nope, they rot it real fast. 
some different foam strip things, seals, trim seals, roof racks, nice little set of ramps, another nice set of ramps, oh, these ones are the junk ones, yeah, these ones aren't too good, light, lights, light stuff, I actually got a set of these, kind of the same like that from uh, TSC, I think it was way back, and they were just junk, just uh, shouldn't have wasted the material building them, that was how so bad they were. Semi cab mattresses, huh? Wow, even some seats too. Nine hundred dollars for a truck seat with air suspension. Holy smokes, that's cheap. More seats. Oh, covers, yeah. Mega Smasher LED lights. Oh, there's like a interior vehicle, like a trailer, travel trailer light. Some more fuses, some more winches, big winches and bigger winches, 17,500, wow, you'd want to have a good charging battery to run that, 12 volt, that would eat up a battery real fast, especially if it's got to pull a good load, Oof. hey, that's kind of cool, two burner tabletop gas griddle, B2 rating 17,000, ooh, how wide is, how big is it? Oh, it doesn't say 279 square inch. Just gonna look that up quickly here for uh, for for um, just to see here. Two, what did I say? 279. 279. Ooh, 279. Uh, S Q I N. Two feet. So it's one point. Well, it's hard to say. That's one, almost two feet wide, I guess, I think. That'd be pretty handy for doing pancakes and stuff on if you're camping or whatever. Hmm. Well. All these camper things, that's kind of funny, eh? They look like that. They, you know, you don't get the truck with it. It's just the tent. You don't get the truck, too. Oh, these things are sure got up a lot. Man, I think I bought mine for about $59 when I first got my turkey cooker. They've gone way up. Oh, this price is everything going up is just getting stupid, isn't it? I think so. 50-liter portable refrigerator freezer. Hey, that's kind of cool. Works with 12 volt to 24 volt or 120 to 240. Wow. Supplied adapter. That's all right. Ooh, Glock CO2 pistol. Uh, what do we got here? Multi-purpose welder. Allows MIG, TIG, and stick. That's a pretty nice unit there. Does a little bit of everything. Well, it does everything. <laughs> Except cutting torch. But. Little flux core there. 158, 90, 88. Oh, that's cheap. Some more welding supplies and tools. There's the bench grinder stand for when you buy the bench grinder. 8-inch bench grinder belt sander attachment. Hey, that's kind of cool. I wonder how that fits on. Don't they give us any more pictures of it. Well, no, not really. Tool sharpener. That's a huge stone on that, eh? Well, it lasts for years. Nice little mini brush set. Oh, there's a heavy-duty lug wire lug kit. That's all right. Nice little drilly press. For 208 bucks, that thing's probably not the greatest either, but maybe it's all right. Who knows? Pipe benders. Oh, yeah, they sell a lot of this stuff now, too. Aluminum tubing, an angle, round rod, flat bar channel, hollow square tubing. Nice. And a nice little tote. Modern ceiling fan with LED lights. That's all right. Some surplus stuff, and then that will probably be the end of the fire, I would think. Surplus, surplus, surplus. Network cable. 64 gigabyte USB flash drive for 10 bucks. Ooh, there's a self-healing cutting mat. That's actually pretty good. Three feet by two feet, so it's probably 
24 inches away and 36 that way. That's actually cheap <laughs> for those self healing cutting mats. Universal remote control dado blade. Wow, that's I've never. Well, we had one at school when I was in high school, but we never were allowed to use it for some reason, anyways. More saw blades. Now, dado blade, if you're wanting to join, like, making a shelf thingy or, so like, you know, like a cabinet thing, you would cut the side shallow with this so then your other board would fit in. That's your shelf kind of thing. That's what those things were kind of for. Reciprocating saw. Battery powered. What the heck is that? Two-inch steel strap cutter. Okay, gotcha. Bypass loppers. Nice paracord roll, 100 foot. 550 pound worth. Seven foot deer fence. Holy smokes. Look at all these things too. Headrest covers. Huh. Patio heater. Fake camera. And without a soft shell jacket. Sorted sizes. Canadian flag, eh? Animal trap. Live live catch. Barbecue smoker tube. That's kind of cool. Put your stuff in there, I guess, and then smoke her up. And that's it, I guess. That's the end of her flyer. Wow, that was quite a flyer, eh? 95 pages long. <laughs> Man, anyways, that is it for your two-week sale flyer for March 14th to the 26th of 2023 for their 90th year anniversary. That's pretty good. It should really go down for that, but I don't need anything down there, I don't think. so. Free giveaways. I mean, who knows? Could be a hat. Who knows? I think for their 90th, they'd be giving away, you know, like maybe some gold bars or... Or $100 bills or something would be nice too, but no, it would be something like a hat or something or a free, uh, like an air air tire pressure checker tire thing, you know, something like that. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll catch you all later. And uh, we'll see uh, what the next uh, flyer showing for what they got in it. If it's kind of the same stuff, we'll maybe skip that one and... And uh, if not, if it's something good, then we'll, we'll do her. But anyways, thanks again. Catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.